welcome to another episode of Just Retired. This of course is part two of our walk to the Pinnacle Lookout at Hall's Gap. Just before we get to the second part though of that episode, I just want to show you a couple of photos. My sister-in-law Angela, that's Eb's sister Angela and her husband Darren, they had a koala in a tree in their front yard. Now, they live in town. Uh, it's not uh, it's not a house in the bush. They live in town and there was this koala in a tree in their front yard. A little bit jealous of it really because whenever we do our walks, like for instance the two episodes of Tower Hill, I was always hoping to get some video footage of kangaroos and koalas. Well we got one koala but it was very hard to see in the tree. So uh, we're going to have to return there at a more appropriate time, maybe earlier in the morning or later in the evening and see if we can get some uh, koalas and some kangaroos. But here we are in town once again and Ange and Darren have got one in their front yard. And you may remember a, a couple of episodes back uh, when we were doing the Shipwreck Coast two-part series, we had some video footage of a blue tongue lizard on our nature strip and we're also in town and uh, I know these things happen you sometimes get koalas in your house or kangaroos in the street and that sort of thing but uh, it's still a surprise when it happens in your um, your house in town I think only a, a few days ago there was a kangaroo hopping up the main street of Colac so that was quite a sight anyway just thought I'd show you those photos of uh, a koala in a tree in town and uh, I'm jealous of those photos. I'll hope to get something similar myself sometime in the future. Anyway, let's get back to part two of the episode as we walk to the Pinnacle Lookout in Halls Gap. We're almost there. So this is the end of the Silent Street Walk. And you've just got this narrow little area here. And then a little uh, stairway just at the end. You climb up there and you're pretty well just about at the, um, the Pinnacle Lookout. I'm here. You made it. I did, and it's lovely and cool down there. Yeah, this is a great cool spot under here, just under a big rock ledge. Well, there it is, just up there. This is our first glimpse today of the Pinnacle Lookout. Good feeling when you get to this point and you can see it, and you know you sort of got to the uh, the spot where you're aiming for. Well, we've made it to the Pinnacle Lookout and uh, we'll show you the view from here. It's, it's just amazing, isn't it? Oh, fantastic. Great effort.
Let's look at the view behind me there. This is a, a spot where a couple of times when we've done the pinnacle walk, we've sat in this area for lunch and just admired the view out that way. Big long drop just over the edge there, so we don't go too near that. Not a good idea, but look at it. What a view. Well, I hope we've been able to show you uh, a bit of an idea of what the walk is like when you're doing the walk up to the pinnacle and also some of the beautiful views that you get both on the way and when you're up here at the pinnacle. Like we said, it's not too hard, but it is steep in some areas. Uh, steps, it's a pretty good track all the way. It's really good the way they've made it now. There are rock steps all the way or other, other proper steps and, and properly made track. Just as long as you... Take it slowly. Yeah, take it slowly. Take it we slowly. we had frequent stops. Frequent stops with plenty of water, as we were saying a bit earlier on. Make sure that you're well hydrated with plenty of water. And you'll have a wonderful day. And uh, protect yourself from the sun. There's been a fairly sunny and a fairly warm day today. Good shoes or boots as well. And just uh, just enjoy the peace and quiet when you get up here even though the crows like to sing for you. <laughs>